How would you rate how my microphone sounds right now? I'd say 10 out of 10 because you Beautiful. sound very clear. Beautiful. Thank Can you. you send me the link? How would you rate the way my microphone sounds right now? Nine. Thank you. This thing was 30 bucks. It's a Razer Siren Mini I, I bought for the sake of doing this. It's a USB piece of shit. It has bad latency in my DAW. Okay, I got that shit to be zero latency. But here's the weird part, right? When I'm using it in Ableton, I use ASO Link Pro and uh, ASO for all. I have a video on it. Go check it out. Uh, it still has latency, even though it says 10 milliseconds. It has like 40. So that kind of sucks. But, you know, hey, other than that, it doesn't sound bad, does it? You know, and I, I took it out in the field on the cord and I, you know, I got other people's opinions and I never had a complaint. Everybody thought I was using some expensive shit, right? This is a $30 USB mic. I didn't want to make a long video here. The whole point was just to kind of show you that it doesn't matter what you pay on a mic as long as you don't suck at processing. No, that's a shitty way of saying it. Basically, the way it goes is a little goes a long way. And when it comes down to it, as long as you are gentle with it because my processing i'll do a follow-up video after this showing you exactly what it did but i didn't do much you know i did a tiny bit of eq a tiny bit of compression background noise removal and that's it you know what i'm saying like it's it doesn't take a lot i can get good results with a 30 dollars usb mic you know i can get good results with a two thousand dollar microphone now with all that you know shilling done i fucking hate this thing i can't stand the latency i can't stand how long it took to Get it to work properly inside ableton the thing is there's a weird thing that happens with aso for all where if you ha don't have the exact right buffer size then after like 30 minutes the audio will just cut out you know randomly and then it'll come back and then it'll cut out again you know this thing is hell to use in a daw and the thing is like i recommend a daw you know i don't i don't think people should use presets the, like, if you go watch videos and listen to streamers and stuff they all sound like shit. You know, it's because they overprocess because they're using shitty presets. I do think to get the best out of this microphone, you're going to have to make some sacrifices in terms of latency and stuff. And on top of that, another thing I hate, the fucking nose sounds. This thing is really susceptible to nose. You know what I'm saying? With that said, though, I'm honestly pretty impressed by the, the lack of plosives with this thing. It does a pretty good job with that. If you only have 30 bucks, it's not bad. Go fucking get one, dude. If you're on a budget, USB mics are good now. They're not the best. But as my headphones, I have my Audion Evo 4. And so I think there's some sort of clock differences going on, causing issues with this thing. So results are going to vary. But for 30 bucks, I mean, it sounds good. Not to mention it's super cardioid, you know? It's pretty good for getting rid of room noise. But yeah, there's all that. Thanks for watching.